I lived before the flood happened in that area. My daughter was only two years old. The water came slowly, like a monster, and starts getting bigger, bigger, and bigger, and everywhere. My art needs to talking about what happened. One thing I can do is just, just paint what, I, what I'm thinking and let people see. In 60 years, almost half of Bangkok is going to be under the water. Sea level is rising five millimeters a year. And in Bangkok, we also have uh, the problem of uh, land subsidence, one, two centimeters a year. So it's a city that just one meter above the sea level. So we need to be very adaptive. If people can know in advance, they can prepare. So we work on open data. Bangkok is a city of water. We have water in every direction, like from the pouring rain, from sea level rise, and from seasonal flooding from the north. As you can experience only 15 minutes of rainfall, the whole city is already shut down. This is my hometown. And I'm actually trying to use my profession, the tools that I have as a landscape architect to tackle climate change in my city. My daughter, when she was really small, you know, she make a grumpy face all the time, you know, and carry her on my arms like, what? You know, always like, why you make a face like this? Are you not happy to be my daughter? And she's like, mm, you know. And after that, I feel like I need to paint this face on the wall, you know, to make people see, and then I think they're gonna think something. You know, why the baby worry? You know, because the future is coming. I'm not sure about the future, you know. That's why I start drawing my sketchbook and then start painting on walls and become my new technique, become my new idea, so I continue painting the face, like baby face. I think I start painting the flat theme from 2011. Like in Thailand, we have a big problem with the flood. A lot of damage happened because we, we didn't know. And suddenly the, the water just attacked. When the water doesn't have the area to stay in, so it stay on the roads and the house of people. Millions of people, Thai people, like uh, homeless, displaced. And I'm actually one of the victim from that. I have my sick parents that I have to carry and I have to take in care of. And the flood shut the whole city. And after that, I, I have so many ideas and I want to talk about this problem in my art. So you can see many paintings I did, it's about the flood, you know, and also I think it's, it's so many meaning about when you're underwater. I can imagine Bangkok in the next 20 years going to be underwater like this. The ocean moved to the land in the last 30 years. 
So the local people need to move the house. ที่เข้ามาซัดหมู่บ้านจนชาวบ้านต้องหนีออกไปใช่ไหมครับอืมเมื่อสมัยก่อนแถวนี้ก็เป็นชุมชนก็จะมีชุมชนมีโรงเรียนตอนนี้พอพื้นที่ถูกกัดเซาะเนี่ยชาวบ้านก็ย้ายหนีโรงเรียนก็ย้ายเข้าไปข้างในครับชุมชนสมัยก่อนมันก็จะคนในชุมชนก็จะเยอะตอนนี้พอพื้นที่มันถูกกัดเซาะมากเข้ามากเข้าโยมก็จะย้ายเข้าไปอยู่ในเมืองกันหมดครับเหมือนก็ทิ้งที่ไปประมาณนั้นทีมก็เลยเป็นทะเลทางทะเลวัดปัจจุบันนี้ก็เลยอยู่เป็นลักษณะเหมือนเป็นเกาะอยู่ในทะเลเวลาน้ำขึ้น Yeah you see the big concrete over here the dam to try protect the, the temple but it feels like not stable and it's crazy it's used to be the road here And we see here, like local people, they try to plant the mangrove in the last like 20, 30 years to try to stop the water. And then I think in Bangkok, maybe we need a similar idea to plant the tree, you know, to stop uh, the water. It's impossible to stop the water coming to the city. It's extremely costly, and I don't think we can. So the water for us um, need to have a space to stay, to retain. We need to increase the permeable surface, try to integrate the vegetation surface when the water goes through this surface and can be reused, everybody can help absorb, slow down the discharge to the city. You need to increase as much as you can the green area, not a big parking space, so convert it into vegetation surface. If you are kind to let people to use in your land, it's very appreciable. But if you would like to remain the fence, it's okay, but just make it green. We have 700 temples in the city. If they convert back into um, a green area, it's a, it's a lot. And I think um, at the citizen level, you should have knowledge. For example, every year, the flood comes. So we work on the open data on the project Urban Observatory. So it provides a lot of data in real time. It can help to give the data to citizens, to the people, where and how high the flood is going to be. So people use it a lot and follow um, our website. For example, I don't know when the flood is going to come, whether it's going to come or, or not. Should I move to other province? Uh, I have my parents. And when we start this program, many people can access to the information and help them decide and prepare. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm building my house right now. I spend lots of money to building my house. I'm always thinking, you know, like, okay, one day everything can be under the sea anyway. And some people say it's gonna happen in really soon, in the next 10 years. I think rich people already buy land in the mountain. <laughs> you know, like poor people, it's really difficult for them to move. You know, the whole life there, the job there, the family there. And what do you think if one day in the country, you have to be there in the water? Like, for 10 years, and you have to be there in the water? Like, no? Yeah, it's not. 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 It's
ของช่วงความเป็นบ้านต่อหาปลาหาปลาไม่หาเหรอเล่นเปล่าเล่นน้ำเปล่าเล่นน้ำเล่นชอบเปล่าชอบน้ำท่วมปะทำทำไมไม่ชอบอะครับเจอน้ำก็หนีหมดใช่ไหมไม่หนีอะเล่นครับเล่นให้เปียกเปียกเปียกหน่อยเล่นน้ำฝนด้วยเนี่ยเด็กๆชอบเล่นเด็กๆก็อาจจะแบบไม่เครียดเท่ากับผู้ใหญ่ Many city around the world is not actually designed to tackle this problem or this change. So I just feel that every development has to rethink the design of architecture of every house, of every building has to rethink. t a m a s a t urban farm rooftop is actually the biggest urban rooftop in Asia. We actually have the requirement to have a building. We incline the whole park through that architecture. And then use the surface of that to be part of the park, but by tilting it, we collect every drops of rain. So normal rain will not flood in the pipeline on the road. It's actually going to flood in the park, and we have restore rainwater tank, which can keep the water. Thomasar urban farm rooftop is making the rice terraces and also be a food source for the community. Every actions count, like the way we live our life, the way we support our way of buying things, or who you choose to work with. Bits by bits. Maybe it helps. Only one cannot be effective, but we have uh, millions of people here. Bits by bit, it can help. I think the human is good to develop. And so why, you know? And I think I think we can do that, yeah. But we need to, we need everyone. Like, hey, wake up and see what's gonna happen, and we need to fix it together.